that's what I'm talking about. The Sharks pulling out the winning. And wow, Patrick Marlon's even crying on TV. Great job there by the Sharks today. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say after watching an overtime game. Um, Detroit played hard early on, but the Sharks did not give up. See, this is the difference between the Sharks of old and the Sharks of right now. This team showed up. I mean, they, early on it looked boring, looked like they were playing uninspired hockey, but that third period, they were getting the shots on goal they needed. They were really pushing toward the net, and this is this is something the Sharks haven't done, is they don't give up. Uh, you know, the previous Sharks of the past would, but these Sharks did not, and the guy who scored the ga game tying uh, goal, Logan Couture, came from the fourth line. You know, the bottom feeders haven't had much of goals or assists from the production-wise, but uh, they they have been good when it comes to checking, and good good contact with everyone. Really awesome win today. I can't believe what I just saw. Uh, the overtime goal was from Joe Thornton to Patrick Marlowe, and hey, the first line is productive. We saw Joe Thornton and Patrick Marlowe connect together for the goal. You know, we'll see if these cobwebs of playoffs are officially shaken off. Uh, I'm not taking this 3 0 lead for granted because I know two times in NHL history the Sharks, or in NHL history, a team has blown a 3 0 lead back in the 70s and back in the 1940s. So I don't want to um, take anything for granted because uh, it might happen still. But right now I'm celebrating this win. Really great statement win by the Sharks uh, to come through in overtime like that. Perfect pass from Thornton to Marlowe on the tip end. They took advantage of a uh, breakaway with a two-on-one. Two one. Um, you know, the thing early on that people forget is there was that huge stop by Evgeny Nabokov uh, on the, sh the uh, penalty shot by Zetterberg. Zetterberg had the perfect moves, but Nabokov answered his moves right at the net. And that was huge by Evgeny Nabokov to make that stop. His goaltending wasn't great, but it did come through in the clutch, especially in that third period. Uh, they really came through uh, during the third period. I couldn't be more proud with these guys. Sharks are playing well. Let's hope we continue this and maintain the success because I don't want to see any, any messing up and I don't want to take this lead for granted. we got to finish the job and make sure that we don't, uh, you know, we don't uh, just sit on this lead. got to keep playing hard and that word overcome has probably come big. But that goal by Setaguchi at the end of the first period was huge. It was almost a buzzer beater. Found the creases. Joe Thornton's goal in the, the third period found the crease as well. I mean, that was almost a fluke, it looks like, but it went in. And uh, what do you know? Logan Couture finds one also right through the legs and off the pad of Jimmy Howard. Now, to all you Red Wing fans who've been crying about penalty falls, shut up. All right. Th that goal that was disallowed early on was the right call. It was a kick in. And uh, you got your penalty shot. Uh, Zetterberg had another chance to score. He did not. He has an assist and a goal on tonight, but he did not get the penalty shot goal. So that was huge. Uh, game four recap might not might not come. Uh, we'll see how things go because Thursday nights are busy for me. But uh, uh, win or lose, I might not make a video unless it's really late at night. But great job by the Sharks tonight. Can't believe what I just saw. Huge goal by Patrick Marlowe. Let's go Sharks. And we'll see you all later.